I'm 38, I live in Racine, um, I'm a small business owner. I'm a, a very diverse mix of experiences. Uh, for example, in the sixth grade I attended Prairie. Um, and in the seventh grade I went to Mitchell. In the eighth grade I went to McKinley uh, Lighthouse gifted program. High school I went to Case, um, but I've also been to prison. I've also been to college. When I was released from prison um, in 2008, I went to a program that was built for reentry. This program uh, did job readiness. What happened was uh, this, this program sent me to a company. Um, I was the first person from the program to go to this company. The program had did a presentation to companies in Racine saying, we need your help in hiring offenders. This company, the job that I interviewed for was, um, it was an office job, basically. At the time, I had a, a certificate, I believe, in um, like Microsoft Office applications. I could type 60 words a minute. Um, you know, I'm articulate, you know, have education. Um, at the time, I was enrolled in school. So, you know, I went for an interview. My first interview knocked it out the park. Um, it was with the facility manager. I uh, came back for a second interview with the HR manager. And one thing that I will never forget, it was burning to my psyche, was in this interview, the, the words exactly were that, um, and we do do background checks, um, and of course yours is gonna come back as a fail, but we already know that. But we have to look at each case individually to make sure that your conviction record is substantially related to your job description. That's what she told me. Um, I said, okay, no problem. Was invited back for a third interview with the vice president of the company. From that, I got offered a job, went, did my drug screen. It was a rapid return cup. It comes back right away. Um, when mine came back clean, they shook my hand, gave me my uh, W-2, my W-4s. Welcome to the company. We'll call you on Monday to set up your schedule. Well, Monday came and went, and I didn't hear a word. So um, I called the program director. He didn't know anything. Um, put in some calls. Nobody called him back. I called the human resource manager the next day. Uh, fortunately for me, I had the wherewithal to record the conversation. And in this conversation, she told me that, I'm sorry, Corey, we did not know how to tell you, but corporate office has overrode our decision to hire you. And I said, well, based on what? She said, based on your background. And I said, but you knew all about my background. I was from the company, I was from the program that specifically helps people with the background. I listed each and every one of my convictions, plain as day, date, offense, on my application. She says, I know, and in the past we've had the power to override that, but for some reason. So from that, I had the wherewithal to contact the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Um, and this is not indicative. This happens to most black men like myself, and, and women too. And I won't even just say black. It happens to a lot of people with convictions, period, but especially to black people. So I contacted the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. In my complaint, I literally just highlighted exactly what I told you. That's all I said. Their response was, while we hire many felons in the warehouse, we don't hire them in the office. And my response was, I beat out six applicants for this job. We interviewed the final time with the vice president at the same, we were all in a room like this. They called us one by one. Six how people. You, how did you, what does that do to you? What it does is it, it breaks your confidence in the system because here I was released from prison. I did my time, served my debt to society, came out and tried to better myself. And even then it's not enough. Even then, there are still obstacles and hurdles. And what it does is to most people, it breaks your resolve. When you keep knocking at the door and it keeps getting slammed in your face, it breaks your resolve. People always say, when I was in prison, this was the line from every prison guard I ever met. Get out and get a job. If only it was that easy.